hello everyone we will see how to create a bucket in google cloud platform so first of all uh, you'll be in a console when you log in so this will be the scene when you log into the console with some project we here project is krishrika and you have to search for a storage service like storage product this is compute and its products and then storage inside storage go into storage browser here uh, you will see the list of buckets because here a storage is uh, actually implemented uh, in a logical way named as bucket inside bucket there will be some subfolders and then files uh, can be stored so to create a bucket click on create bucket you can give some unique name for example demo bucket 1 if it's available then it will let you continue otherwise it will say the bucket name is already taken so we'll see changing the bucket name then it will uh, show you the options whether the location is region dual region multi region so these are self explanatory words but if i have to explain it i would say uh, region will be a single region for example us or uk asia dual region will be having high availability suppose one region fails because of some disaster so another region will have the replica of your storage multi region will be highest availability it can be stored at multiple regions more than two regions so for now i will check for region because i don't want that much of availability us east one is getting selected but you can have any other region as well for now it's fine whatever is there for by default i will continue then the type of storage standard storage is a short term and frequently used nearline is uh, for used for backups uh, and less than a less than once a month if you are using nearline is useful code line is like uh, disaster recovery and can be accessed uh, uh, less than once a quarter archive is like uh, less than once a year and it can be used for long term prevention of uh, preservation of data access rights should be by default fine grained uh, everything uh, should be followed by im policies and uh, encryption for now i will choose google managed key it does not require any configuration because google takes care of it otherwise if i have to manage it i have to create the public private keys and uh, configuration is needed otherwise it's good uh, retention policy suppose if you don't want that bucket uh, to be retained after some period of uh, time you can set the retention policy uh, for the life cycle of that bucket so i don't want to add any labels i would create and it will start processing you can see the notification in this panel once it is complete yeah it's complete now if i go to overview i could see the standard bucket of us east one region is created the timestamp is already provided all the properties you have created and its url is also given suppose i i would hit to this uh, website or web portal uh, it will show the contents of my this bucket so it will give you the endpoint url for your particular bucket this is one of the feature of this google cloud storage it's not a directory structure directly you will give you will be provided with the endpoint url also and for a gsutil whenever you are copying into uh, or copying from the google cloud bucket you can use this link for gsutil commands and we have the other lectures where we actually move data to uh, bucket so there you will use this okay so permissions and bucket lock are the properties that you need to set or configure otherwise object is ready and if i go to my bucket details i would have two uh, buckets incoming bucket one that was previously created and krishrika bucket one that we created here if i want to upload something or like you know uh, copy something so i can use transfer service otherwise i can use gsutil command and once you do some operation inside bucket make sure you refresh it so thank you for watching this video let's data